What's going on everybody? My name is Billy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hobo stove. Alright, so there's two ways you can go about this. One way is just using nothing but a multi-tool. And the second way, we're going to be using a drill. So what you waiting for? Let's get started. So the only other thing that we're going to need for this project is a can. This one uh, is an old bean can. You can usually find these lying around or whatever. Alright, so you may be asking yourself, Billy, why the hell would I want to make a stove out of a can? Well, that's a pretty easy answer, and I'm glad you asked. There may be a time where you don't have a stove, or you may just simply don't want to make a big old campfire. Or if you're trying to be really, really sneaky. And that's because a campfire is going to put off a lot of smoke. You don't want that, so. All right, so let's get started making this thing. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to draw a little square at the bottom here, and that's where we're going to feed sticks and stuff through there. All right, next we're gonna take our can opener and start the hole here. All right, so next what you can do is you can actually just take and start peeling this guy open with your pliers. And this is probably gonna take a minute, so I'll get back to you when we've gotten all the way around it. All right, so you should have something like that when it's said and finished. So now we just gotta go across the top part here. I can't stress this enough. These edges are super sharp and jagged, so you want to be sure not to cut yourself on these. See what I mean? Definitely sharp. Be careful. Can't stress this enough. Be careful. Be careful. Alright, so after a quick boo-boo break, we're back at it. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're just going to put peel this door back a little bit. Until you have an opening, kind of like that. So next what you want to do, you want to work this door off until it just pops off like so doing now the made a couple marks here on the top we're gonna just cut with the the pliers on here and then we're just gonna bend this down all right so I did that four times and now I ended up with something like this all right, so the reason why you would have those fins is A, they create airflow, but then also your cup can sit right on top of there. All right, so this is what we got going on now. In the top there, there's some sticks. And down here, that's a toilet paper roll. And on the other end, we got some dryer lint. All right, let's get this guy on the fire here. Put a lid on this guy. All right, while that one's getting a boil, I'm gonna show you how to make the other one. It's super simple. All right, for this one, all you gotta do is we're gonna do the same as before, but we're gonna make holes at the bottom and at the top here. All right, so that's what the other one looks like. All right, let's check and see how our first stove is doing here. I think I'm gonna say that's a success. That didn't even take that long either. The guy's still going. I could cook another cup of water on there if I wanted to. All right, for that one, we're gonna need some kind of grill or something. So let's look around and see what we can't find. All right, so I found this uh, old chicken coop. I think the bottom of this will work pretty good for a grill. So I'm gonna take some of this. Ah uh, yes, I think that'll do just fine. Alright, let's get this pot back on there, see if we can't get it to boil again. Alright, so I can hear this guy boiling again, so let's check it out, see what we got going on here. So 
Looks like it's cooking to me. All right, so there you guys go. Two different ways you can make an improvised camping stove. Let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer. And if you learned something, hit the like button for me. And if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button for me twice, would you? And if you like to survive, don't forget to subscribe. All right, Billy out.